Here's a classic, the bellhop problem. Three guests rent a room in a hotel. The cost for the night is $30. So they divide the bill evenly and pay $10 each. They go to the room. Once they're gone, the manager decides he'll only charge $25. So he gives $5 to the bellhop to return to the guests. When the guests get their $5, they decide we'll keep a dollar each and we'll give the extra $2 to the bellhop. Now, each guest pays $10, gets $1 back. So each guest actually only pays $9. So times three, the guests pay out $27 plus the $2 for the bellhop. That equals $29, but we've started with $30. So the question is, where did the extra dollar go? Now, the answer is, there is no extra dollar. We just have to do our bookkeeping correctly. So let's take a look at what happens at each stage of our transactions. We start off with our three guests paying $10 each for $30. The manager decides he's only gonna charge $25. So we have $25 going to the hotel. $5 is up in the air going back to the guests. Once the guests get the $5, they decide they're gonna keep a dollar each, and then they're gonna give $2 to the bellhop. So we see here at each stage, we have $30 at each step. Now, who's holding what? Okay, well, the hotel has $25, the bellhop has $2, the guests have $3. So you'll note the guests have paid out $27 to cover the hotel bill, and the tip to the bellhop. So that's your three times $9. Now, in the reasoning we did over here, we took the 27, okay, the $9 each that was paid out, and then we added on the tip to the bellhop. So you'll note that's a redundancy, okay? We've already paid the bellhop when we do our reckoning here. That's already included in the $27. So, the way we should do our bookkeeping, okay, they've paid out $27, which is 25 plus two. The other three comes in to the $3 that they're holding. So you'll note the bill of $27 breaks in 25 plus two, and then what's left over is the three which they're holding in their hand.